hello guys welcome to another video in this video we are going to learn about the graft incompatibility before we know graft incompatibility first I would like to tell about the compatibility so what is compatibility compatibility the ability of two different plants when grafted together to produce a successful union and also develop into on compost plant is termed as compatibility on the other hand the inability of two different plants to do so when grafted together as often defined as grafting in compatibility so we can say that uh, in com graft incompatibility means inability of uh, root rootstock and scion to fuse together. Then types of in incompatibility. Generally, incompatibility two types: translocated incompatibility and localized incompatibility. So, translocated incompatibility. Here we can see this type involves phloem degeneration and this can be seen by the development of brown line or necrotic area in bark. This is due to the movement of toxic materials through the phloem. This cannot be overcome even by inserting an intermediate stock. That means uh, this type of incompatibility occurs by the phloem degeneration. We can see in the picture that uh, here is spots on the leaf and bark which is caused by uh, phloem degeneration during the uh, graft union. Then second one is localized incompatibility. Incompatibility reactions are seen at the graft joint. This incompatibility can be overcome by inserting a mutually compatible interstock also called intermediate stock or interstem is a piece of stem grafted between in between them by avoiding direct contact between stock and scion this may be due to repulsive action of uh, stock and scion here we can see that uh, root stock is thin and uh, scion is uh, too thick that means uh, the joint is not perfect this is known as localized incompatibility here we can see also that um, uh, join is not perfect uh, rootstock and scion. So this is localized incompatibility. Then there are some symptoms of graft incompatibility such as uh, failure to form a successful graft or bud union with a high percentage of success. Yellowing of leaves in the latter part of the growing season followed by early defoliation. Then premature death, premature death of trees which may live only a year. Then marked difference in growth rate or vigor between scion and stock. That means root stock. Then overgrowth at above or below the graft union. Then if cutting vertically through the graft union there will be a found a dark line or corky tissues following the contours of the union between rootstock and scion. So these are the symptoms um, so uh, we can see in the uh, graft junction for uh, graft incompatibility. Then there are some causes of graft uh, incompatibility uh, such as main cause graft grafting incompatibility is vascular system if there is poor vascular connection vascular discontinuity is uh, and phloem degeneration at unit area that cause the vascular incompatibility then different growth characteristics of rootstock and scion then inability of scion and rootstocks to establish a closed cell contact at graft union to maintain water and nutrient balance then next uh, physiological and biochemical differences between rootstock and scion. Then few uh, callus differentiation into cambium and vascular tissues and most of the part of the callus are not differentiated. So these are the causes of grafting incompatibility. 
incompatibility then there are also more causes of grafting incompatibility such as poor formation of the graft union due to anatomical mismatching then virus or phytoplasma uh, infection um, then weak cultivar then genetic incompatibility or biochemical reaction then cambium of scion and rootstock are not meeting properly then uh, the union is guarded because the bindings of level are not released uh, guarded means uh, the phloem uh, phloem uh, degeneration is also known as guarded then the graft shedded too much after uh, growth began so these are the causes of graft incompatibility uh, so that's all for today see you in the next video thanks for watching